so I was, I've grown up in a Christian home. And so I was raised in a beautiful Christian home. My parents are, you know, are faithful. Um, I would say middle school, high school, college. I really began to drift. I really started to um, doubt and I wouldn't even say wrestle, just completely doubt um, if the Lord was real, if, um, if I, this was really my faith or just my parents' faith. I even, and uh, I know Pastor Tom will often say the drift is slow and it's really true. Um, I think I just slowly started to doubt and not really bring those doubts to the Lord or even my parents. I just doubted and let it sit and um, fester. End of high school and going into college, um, I would definitely call myself like a full-on feminist and a full-on, um, you know, maybe even an atheist. Like I think I had real doubts and, um, and I really um, embraced the world and wanted what it had to offer. Um, I wanted to go to a secular college and I wanted to learn all the things that I, it felt like there were things out there that I wanted to learn um, that they had for me. Like there was maybe more out there. But I will say, you know, by I would say turning from the Lord, it brought on like a really deep, dark depression. Um, I, that was in my first few years of college. There were some dark years in there and I didn't turn to the Lord in those dark years. I just um, tried to deal with those things on my own. Um, and sure, I went to counseling and I got, I got medical help. Like, yes, get medical help for depression. That is, please. But also, I'd never turn to the Lord in those things. Um, it, it was very dark and I eventually, I was brought out of that. And I think the Lord guided, you know, the people around me who love the Lord to help me out of those things. By the end of college, um, in my 20s, I was just completely lost. Um, I was pretty much like heavily drinking. I didn't even know where I was going. Sure, I had this degree, but what was I gonna do? And I just, yeah, I was very lost. Um, you know, the Lord still guided me and protected me in those dark ages when I wasn't even following Him. He, um, he still blessed me with, you know, a beautiful relationship that um, I think has changed me and my husband, you know, together around the same time. So we ended up married and I would say he chose the Grove and it was just a great, um, it was a great wise decision on his behalf, you know, on his part. Yeah, so one day it was, um, I was seven months pregnant and I just started to realize like, oh no, these symptoms of depression have maybe been around for a couple weeks. And um, it felt like that big wave of depression was coming back again. And I had been through it before without the Lord, right? In college, I had been through that and it was dark and scary. And so finally, I just, um, I got on my knees and I surrendered. Um, I, I remember I actually took a picture of it. Um, the house was for sale this year and I, I took a screenshot of that room because I'm like, oh, there's where I surrendered my life. That, that is where I started to see true change from the Lord. Yeah, I got on my knees and I just remember um, saying, Lord, I, I surrender. I am sorry for running for so long. Um, you have been gently calling me and I um, know I can't go through this again without you because I tried and it was terrible. I know maybe you can't even take this away right now. Maybe it's just gonna come, um, this wave of depression, but I need your help to get through it. That's when the Lord began to just change my heart and change my mind. I have just slowly began to really fall in love with the Lord. You know, I can think there's all those worship songs about loving the Lord and I, I never really felt that at all. Um, and I think loving the, getting in the word really began um, really diligently being in the word daily started to just grow this love for the Lord and this love for his word in me. Um, and that is when uh, he has just slowly over the years started to genuinely change my heart and change my mind in ways that maybe I wouldn't have even chosen before I surrendered my life to the Lord. I think that's that surrender to the Lord is also slow and daily too, that we just slowly learn to walk in obedience and go, all right, all right, Lord, you're asking me to do this thing. And maybe it's scary and feels, you know, big or different, but um, I'm gonna step out in obedience because you're asking me to, because I trust you and I've surrendered my life to you. You know, Jesus says, you know, in this world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And so I, I think there's been actual just tribulation since then and trials and problems and, and the Lord has been so faithful to bring me through those. And um, he's been so faithful to help me remember what he's brought me through. 
there is so much peace and hope in surrendering your life to Jesus. He died for our sins. We deserve, we deserve punishment and hell. And, and man, there's such relief in, in surrendering to the Lord. And, there, and there's so much hope um, for our future. And so we know that there, and there's just beauty in sharing the gospel and in building his kingdom. And so, um, I, man, like there was, there's work to be done then that I missed out on. And so I, um, I'm glad now that he changed my heart and he changed my mind. He captured my heart. And so now, um, what a blessing to be able to help build his kingdom and invite others to come on and come to heaven too. <laughs>